how are you all doing? Thank you for your love and support. We really, really appreciate you. If today is the first time you are coming across us, or you are seeing this face for the first time, please do where to like our videos and share. In this platform, we react to our videos and your opinion is highly needed. So please sit back, watch this video carefully, drop your opinion in the comment section, and I'll be right back. Today, we have seen in Abuja, after the court, we see the attack on the Biafra community in Abuja. And I watched the man, I watched some of the video. You know, he didn't, I was not moved. Why should I be moved? Why should I be worried? Somebody is here telling me they are burning Igbo, Igbo um, uh, business in Abuja. They are killing people in Abuja. What the hell are they doing watching the people destroying their properties and the businesses? They should pick up arms. It is called self-defense. They should pick up arms and defend themselves in Abuja. Why, why are they making videos? We are not, we don't have time for those nonsense. We have been shouting every day for many years now. Mazin and they cannot have been shouting. So you think because somebody is making video showing me how they are burning their their market and burning, uh, you know, and you think I will come here and start shouting? They are burning our market. They are, we are not going to shout that. The Biafrans in Abuja and the, any part of the northern Nigeria know what to do. If they come for your business, pick up arms, defend yourself. You are there making video. Making video. Oh, look at them. They are burning our market. Who cares? How many years are you going to make video? How, how many years are you going to be making video while they are killing you? It doesn't make sense. And some of them watch us. Some of them listen to our gospel. You see Fulani terrorists coming to kill you, destroy and burn your business, you carry camera and start videoing. You are a madman. Because the government are sponsoring them. That is what we call the economic jihad. It is economic jihad. The holy war against your economy. Holy war. They want to crumble you. You don't know that uh, they say in 2023, uh, in 2022, they're gonna they're gonna declare civil war. They're gonna fight civil war in Nigeria. When you hear it, you are planning how you are going to rig election in 2023. All of you will be lynched by these terrorist planners when they come to you. You dare there in Abuja? You think Abuja is safe? I told you people that one the time is coming where people in Abuja will be running. The time is here. Look at. They burn your village, they burn your, your, your market, they burn everything, and all you could do all you could do is to make a video. I want to show you one. So tell our people in Abuja that we say. They are coward. Coward. If they come to you, you are waiting for. Is it military you are waiting for? The mil, some of them are military. They pull off their clothes and came mufti. They mix themselves with other Boko Haram members. They come to burn your business and you stand there and be shouting. Some of you run away. If you come to Igbo land, if it is your Igbo land, you will carry your pump action uh, in your community. You carry pump action and be looking. Uh, we, I have compassion. Bring your God and defend yourself in Abuja. You are there looking for, waiting for government. All of you will die one after the other. If you are waiting for this terrorist government to come and protect you, I want the world to see what is happening to Biafra people everywhere in Nigeria. I want you to watch. Look at, look at them. 
Look at them. All of them are just as useless as anything. They carry stomach, you know, waiting for uh, 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 the man in Naso Rock to come and uh, save them. Look at them. Hopeless people. Tell them to come back to the south. They say, no, you want to stay in Abuja? You see, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You tell them to come back. Come back home. They say, no, they want to stay in the, in the north, Abuja, where you have the capital of Nigeria. Today, everything they have labored in their whole life has been destroyed by terrorist felony. And there is no insurance. No insurance to compensate anybody. When they hear Simonetta preaching every day, they think it is. Now, and I want you to understand, this is capital city. This is the capital territory of Nigeria capital. It, before, it was Plateau State, just. It was Kano. It was Medugri. It was far north, where, you know, now, before it was Kaduna, gradually, they have entered Abuja. And they thought it was a joke. During the NSAS protest, they burnt market in Abuja. They burnt every car packed in Apo, Apo village. All the car burnt into pieces. Did you see BBC now making documentary of people? Who incited them? Did you hear anybody inciting violence? Did you come to see BBC? Oh, come. Mayete Allah is talking. Mayete Allah is inciting violence. Did you know that your speech on Facebook have incited a violent who incited this one? This is the government's sponsored crisis. And they have burned the business of our people. It is called economic jihad. When I try to teach like this, BBC will come. They will twist it. They say, Simon you are preaching violent. Some thought, hired, will be on their page, on their different hunger page. They will be writing, Simon Ekpa is now the problem. He is preaching. His preaching is leading to violence. Who is leading to this particular violence? Who preached this violence? I want you to understand that it is deliberately being orchestrated by the caliphate. Orchestrated by the caliphate. Today, I am going to shock you. Do you know what they say was responsible for Kano bomb blast? They say it was not bomb blast. You are going to be shocked to hear how they were explaining, you know, trying to cover up the bomb blast against Biafra people. Within two days or three days, they have bombed Biafra community, they have bombed Biafra market, and people are there still vidoring instead of picking up arms to defend themselves. They stay there. Oh, um, uh, you, in case you don't know, there is something called Abuja Declaration. Are you aware of that? Are you aware of what is called Abuja Declaration? Islam in Africa Organization. It was designed to eradicate in all its forms and ramifications all non-Muslim religion in member nation, such as Christianity. Are you aware of that? It is called Abuja Declaration. I want you to go and research on Abuja Declaration of 1989. That is the agenda. Today, the Abuja Declaration of 1989 already have completed its face in Nigeria. And you are there telling me Simon Epa is preaching hate. To ensure only Muslims are elected to all political posts of member nation. Is the, has this not been achieved in Nigeria? To ensure the appointment of only Muslim into strategic national and the international post of member nation. Have that not happened in Nigeria? Nigeria have appointed all Fulani to the United Nations. That brings us to the end of this update. Do what to like the video, share, and subscribe.
thank you very much for always tuning in i really do appreciate share the video and tell your friends about this platform because the best thing or the best place for you to be is here turn on the bell icon so that whenever i drop a new buzz boost like this you'll be the first to notify thank you once again and remain blessed